The humble Entrovita, by itself a minute force, but together it has the power to spawn an empire. The coast of Peru yields millions of these small fish year-round and can be easily caught and dried providing a predictable food source allowing for sedentary coastal communities. Our ancestors constructed fishing nets for thousands of years, weaving plant fibers together to be able to catch huge numbers of anchovita. However, these nets were both laborious and relatively short-lived. Around 4000 AG, people in the Supe River Valley domesticated cotton, and over the next few thousand years it was traded to coastal communities who built nets out of it. The cotton fibers are not only a lot easier to manipulate, but they're also quite durable, and even more so when wet. These long-lasting nets freed the labor pool to transition into other tasks. In exchange for the cotton, the Supe Valley people were supplied with the anchovita, which fueled tremendous growth in their communities. And by 7000 HE, large settlements dotted the Peruvian landscape and soon saw the rise of the first civilization in the Americas. This is Ancestoria, Garal Supe. The city of Caral sat atop a dry desert terrace overlooking the lush Supe River Valley. Using their population, our ancestors were able to create vast irrigation networks that diverted the water of the Supe River to the desert, creating desert farms which showed their ability to conquer their environment. The production and trade of their crops established their economic authority over the region, allowing for the flow of their culture to over a dozen other settlements by 7400 HE. This was the Caral Supe, or Notichico civilization. Although prosperous, the civilization likely had social inequalities marked by their architecture. Caral had three sunken plazas and eight sectors containing apartment complexes, modest houses, and lavish residences which were surrounded by stone walls. To counter any dissent, political authorities likely established a relationship between humanity and the cosmos. Large stone pyramids rise above the city of Kara, likely for religious purposes where high priests perform rituals and celebrations. Construction likely began on these platforms around 7373 HE, and there is evidence of feasts, music, alcohol, and fire rituals which would have been intended to inspire the population. Construction of great monuments and cities are usually achieved through sophisticated logistics, and Karatsupe was no different. Although they lacked traditional written records, they created a string-based recording system, or kipu. This likely allowed them to perform the same functions with the kipu as the contemporary Afro-Eurasian civilizations achieved with their early scripts, which included records of inventories, trade, and administration, although the Karao kipu remains undeciphered. Karao Supe was abandoned in 8200 HE for unknown reasons, but other kingdoms were beginning to rise along the Pacific coast. In its time, it was the largest city in the Americas, commanding the region for centuries. It was the first civilization in the Americas, springing forth in isolation at the same time as civilizations were rising in the east. And although it faded away, the fundamentals of environmental mastery and social command pre-adapted the Andean people to the cooperative power of civilization. This is Ancestoria, the history of our ancestors.